Nabuzinska, or the short version of my first name is Kasia, and I'm a lecturer uh, here in the at the University of Dundee, but I also work, I'm senior lecturer uh, at the Polish Academy of Sciences in Warsaw, where I established in uh, 2008, uh, together with Magdalena Kacprzak, um, and uh, has been have been since then coordinating uh, the ARCDEP organization, uh, which uh, uh, facilitates the activities of the uh, Polish School of Argumentation, uh, that is the, a network of around 100 academics uh, uh, all across Poland uh, working, um, uh, studying argumentation. In the center, I run the team with uh, Rory uh, Dathy, uh, Marcin Koszowy, um, Brian Plus, and uh, Martin Pereira Farinia, uh, that specializes in digital ethos, which is technologies uh, processing not only arguments that people formulate and exchange, but also um, how people influence others uh, using the, the character, the, the character. So, for example. Uh, people might vote for uh, for politicians not necessarily only because uh, he has a good uh, social or economic policy, but also because he, he is or seems to be credible or has a strong personality or a successful businessman, for example. So in the PPC project, I coordinate uh, the analysis stream uh, and. Um, uh, what, what, uh, or annotation, it's kind of like a more technical term for an, uh, uh, an, uh, analysis of natural language text. text. And what we are trying to do, I mean, what we are aiming to do is to uh, 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 produce an input for, for the technology uh, that we are using. Uh, so uh, you, you can think about it in this way that can, can clearly the machine, the software, can't interpret natural language text because it's too difficult for, for it. So what, what we are doing, we are analyzing or interpreting this natural language text and, and then kind of like label uh, the text or in, you can think about it in code text uh, uh, in this analyzing, uh, an analysis process and, uh, which, which then machine is able to process. So in other words, we are, we are providing as an argument analysis team, we are pro providing input for uh, argument analytics technology. So I guess it, it, we had two uh, uh, biggest challenges in, in, involved in, on the analysis side. So first was designing um, an annotation process and second was recruiting and training analysts. So in terms of designing annotation, annotation process, what was difficult for us is to uh, produce a high quality or m maintain high quality of the analysis in the very constrained or very limited, uh, narrow uh, uh, time scale. So, just to give you the idea, one hour, or one minute of the of the program uh, 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 requires one hour of annotation. If you are lucky, if you have a good analyst, right? And then, on top of it, because of the of of, of the this, this constraints of, of time uh, and the risk that uh, if we are in the hurry that the quality will be lower, what we introduce the, the additional layer of uh, quality assessment, which means that another annotator is looking at the first annotator uh, uh, map and try to check it, double check that it's, 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 it's okay. So we need to add additional hour of annotation for this one minute. So we, if we are talking about more or less 45 minutes, it, uh, it, we need nine, around 90 hours of annotation and our slot in 48 hours plan for between receiving a more or less program from BBC and re releasing it on the BBC web, uh, I mean argument analytics, on, B, on the PPC web, web pages, uh, we had eight hour slots for this 90, uh, uh, 90 hours of annotation. So that, that was quite challenging. So we had to develop kind of a multi layer, complex, co complex process. Uh, so, for example, uh, we were able to receive a transcript from a company that was supposed to transcribe the audio uh, at 3 a.m. Uh, in the night, because the person that was responsible for it, for checking it, 
was in Argentina, so so uh, so so he was he was kind of like was able to to do it uh, in the mid middle of the day his time, and then he passed it on to the first analyst that was doing analysis between 4 a.m. and 9 a.m. Only because she was in Australia, <laughs> so again, playing this time time uh, time zone difference was was uh, was quite uh, uh, important for us uh, to to speed up the process and, and yeah to speed up the process in terms of the recruiting uh, and, and training analysts. So as I said, I mean, this 90 hours we realized that uh, we we don't have uh, enough annotators uh, in in the center for argument technology that could could. could do this task, uh, so we had we had to recruit, and again we had very narrow time scale. So we we advertise on Monday. We were, uh, uh, the registration was on Thursday, and and then we started training on Monday in week. So uh, I remember one person that I asked for helping with circulating the advertisement said, "I have to just warn you that it's just impossible. You will have no people." Well, I mean we had almost 70 registrations. Uh, for, for the information meeting, then uh, 40 people in total took training and 11 people passed, uh, passed the training because we, uh, we kind of like uh, decided to, to kind of select only the best people who, who, uh, who took the training again for the, to, to ensure high quality. So right now we have uh, our argument analysis uh, team consists of Three kind of groups. So, uh, uh, people from ArcTech, uh, which is six experience annotators that were also tutors at the training, which is um, uh, Rory uh, uh, Duffy, uh, Jackie Visser, Martin Korshove, Martin Pereira Farina, me and Chris Reed. And uh, we have also three people in ArcTech who joined uh, us more recently, took the last training which is Ice and Peace, uh, Brian Blues and you, Dom, uh, De Franco. And then we have uh, 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 very talented students here from, from computing, Javier uh, uh, Ruiz, uh, Teodora Andrea, Rory McGowan and Nicole uh, Orr. Um, uh, and uh, we have uh, fantastic colleagues all around the world that uh, also joined us. Uh, Mathilde Janier in France, uh, Annette uh, Houtli Janisch in Germany, uh, Nuria Franco Guillen from uh, Australia, uh, Elena Musi from uh, United States, and Luana Marinho from um, Brazil. So that's us. Well, uh, I mean, it's, it's difficult not to be excited about it. The BBC Moral Maze program is, is, is absolutely fantastic material for anyone who is studying argumentation in debate. It's full of uh, uh, sophisticated rhetorical strategies, uh, di discussing exciting, uh, uh, controversial, highly controversial uh, topics uh, which engages people, participants to, to argue uh, uh, to, uh, and, and exchange arguments very heavily. So it's, it's really, really interesting. And so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to testing our te theories and uh, technologies that we've been working on in this uh, amazing environment that uh, the BBC provides.